Okay guys, as you can see, the most voted pattern for me to crochet was the flamingo one. So I am going to crochet apparently a mochila with a flamingo pattern. I already have here the choice of my colors. I chose these four colors. I have my hook and okay, let's start this mochila. This mochila is going to have 10 increases, which means that I'm going to start with 10 stitches in the center and it starts with this color pattern here. So I will start two rounds with this pattern, with this color, and I will show you how I'm going to start increasing. Do a magic circle, get your hook, then you start with 10 increases. So I will do one chain and inside of the magic circle, I will crochet 10 stitches. You can do five and then increase uh, to 10, but I'm just gonna go with 10. Two and three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I have to pull a little bit this one, it's going out, and ten. Now I'm just gonna pull this end, okay, so in the second round we have on each stitch one increase. So I'm going to also insert the other colors. So uh, this is the first stitch and I work in back loops. So insert the hook in the back stitch, back loop, sorry. Back loop, back loop, back loop. It's hard the first round. Also I'm gonna put the other colors here. I'm gonna do a single crochet here, again, see here, like this, again in the same stitch, one single crochet, back loop of course. So this is my first one, I will put a marker here so I know that the round starts there. Once the marker is here, this is the first stitch, on each stitch increases. Again, back loop, so the hook back loop, and two single crochet. So on each stitch I will crochet two single crochet with this yarn under. So you check the back and then you see here all these yarns, I will pull them not so long, I don't want to leave them so long. You can pull all three at once, I will leave a little bit here, okay. So first round we have 10 stitches, second round we will end up 20 stitches because we do increases. Here we are, second round finished. So I'm gonna start the pattern for third round and here I'm gonna show you how you change colors. Since I want to have an invisible um, overlapping. So I'm going to start the pattern from here. I'm not going to start from here. Normally I should start from here and then I finish up here. This is one a full pattern for the bottom and because I have started with 10 stitches not 8 as the pattern I have uh, this pattern over here for me it's going to be repeated five times right. 
So this is one full pattern and I will repeat it four more times. So this one will be repeated five times in my work. If you work with 12 increases, that means you, this pattern is going to be repeated six times. Okay, let's move on with it. So there is no right or wrong, okay? You can start the pattern from here as well, the third row. It's not a big deal. I just want to start it from here because once I arrive at the top here, I want to have this difference. There is no right or wrong. So I am going to start the pattern. I'm gonna do one blue, change and I will do the increase here. So the next stitch is white and I'm gonna do it in the same place, white. I will put back the marker at the first stitch where we started the row. Then I have another two white stitches. So one, I will do it the next one. And in the next stitch again, another one, which leaves us with three white stitches. So uh, the next blue. one, so I will leave the white and I will close with the blue. And then here I'm going to do another increase in the same stitch, one blue stitch, uh, which following the pattern I have to change because the next stitch that follows is white. Okay, I did two increases, so the pattern next is one white. So this is a full pattern for me. I will repeat this pattern four more times until I arrive here. Okay, you guys, here it is. I did finish the third round fully, as you can see, the full pattern. It starts here with a blue one and it ends here. You can start from here if you want to. Uh, there is no rule for that. So I just do what I see fit that it will not show the edges, okay, of the pattern. Okay, so this was for today. I will continue uh, working because I can't show you the whole pattern. You just keep following the pattern like this and you do the increases where you see fit. So yeah, I will see you later. Cheers.